I'm RJ Sigurdsson, Minister of Agriculture and Irrigation. Today, September 21st, is Agricultural Societies Day in Alberta. Ag societies are the heart of rural communities. These nonprofit organizations promote improvements to agriculture and enrich the lives of Albertans. By organizing events like rodeos, town fairs, bench shows, and farmers markets, providing rural students with scholarships, building and maintaining community hubs like recreation facilities and rodeo arenas, and so much more. Agricultural societies have been in Alberta since before Alberta was a province. Uh, they have been uh, founding uh, organizations for communities across our province and Canada for that matter. Uh, agricultural societies are in many cases the hub of the organizations and they really do bring people together uh, across our, our province. Agricultural societies are integral to most communities that they're in. Uh, the fairs that they put on, particularly the agricultural based fairs, really provide an opportunity for citizens to learn about agriculture, the agriculture industry, where their food comes from, and have a broader base around what agriculture means to their community and the province. Alberta has 291 agricultural societies and they're led by a provincial organization which provides support and leadership. And many of these societies uh, hold facilities and, um, and infrastructure that make a huge difference in their communities. Today, there is this sort of back to the land, back to small scale agriculture movement happening and a real resurgence of interest in gardening and farming in general. So I think ag societies, um, not only are they already important resources in their community, I think that they could become a, an important support for long-term growth in local food systems. The role of ag societies today, well, it, it it's all depends on their community. So each community has different needs and ag societies support, support that social economy piece. So those things that, you know, the government can't necessarily manage through public funds or that the private sector just doesn't necessarily make a profit. So I think, um, you know, just providing recreational and volunteer uh, opportunities, bringing community together, they often, are working with uh, you know, the people in the municipality, with entrepreneurs, with other community organizations and, and providing different services and, and supports to make initiatives happen. On a community building level, our agricultural societies are tremendous at gathering people, whether it's through events and programs or the facilities that they operate. The chance to bring people together and, and create that social network is tremendously important. They are uh, in tune with the with the community. They're ensure that what they're doing remains relevant and are somewhat more nimble than perhaps the municipality might be able to be uh, in being able to offer a new program or offer a new opportunity for, for citizens to get involved. Agricultural Society's Day is actually extremely important. One of the things that we know about our, our membership is that the people that inside it are tremendously humble. Uh, so they don't speak to themselves and what their organizations do and what they mean to the community on their own behalf. I think ag societies um, really contribute to uh, community wellness and social connection and social capital. So yeah, I just, uh, I hope other people see their value and choose to join one in their community. On behalf of Alberta's government, thank you to our ag societies and the thousands of volunteers who support them. I encourage Albertans to connect with their local agricultural society and to get involved as a volunteer. Happy Agricultural Societies Day.